Hello guys, today is our second lesson. The subject is variables. If you want to write useful code, you'll need to be able to store and label pieces of information. That's what variables do. Variables are great for all sorts of things, from tracking your score in a game, performing calculation and holding list of items. How to create a variable? A variable needs a name. Think of a name that will remind you what's inside the variable. Then decide what you want to store in the variable with the variable's value. Type the name followed by an equal sign followed by the value. We count this assigning value to the variable. So let's open Python. We start to type in shell window. Okay, let's create a variable called age. Age equal 12. So age is a variable, 12 is value. So age store value. Okay, press enter and now just let's write print. So print, print is a function uh which show which send a value to the python okay print the name of our variable and press enter yeah it says 12. okay so uh, in the shell window we Type this line of code to create a variable h and assign a value to it. The value is 12. Uh, you can use your own h if you want. The second step was we print the value. We type the line of code shown to the right into the shell window. Hit the enter return key to see what happens. Okay, guys, we have a few rules uh, of naming variables. Okay, we every time we start the variables, name with a letter so we can't start it with number second any letter or number can be used in a name third one symbols such as let me write it symbols such as this one slash slash hashtag or this one these four symbols you can't use in a variable name. Also, you can't use spaces. Instead of space, we use an underscore. We use an underscore. Uppercase capitals and lowercase letters are different. Python will treat score and score. You see score from capital and score from lowercase is two different variables. So, and also avoid words Python uses as a comment, such a print. So don't use print as a variable name. Okay, let's go next. Using numbers. Variables can be used to store numbers and do sums. You can use them with symbols to do calculations, just like you do in math. Some of these symbols will be familiar, but watch out for the symbols meaning multiply and divide. They are slightly different from the ones you use in class. So in Python, multiply is a star expression. So it's like it's like this. And divide is a slash. Okay. Let's make a simple calculation. Let's type the code in a shell window. It uses numbers stored in two variables named x and y to carry out a simple multiplication. Hit the enter return key to get the answer. Okay, let's start. So x equal 6, press enter, y equal x, star expression, which means multiply x7. Let's press enter. We know the x, x variable stores value 6, y 
uh, variable stores x multiply 7. So we want to know y and we write print y. Okay, this is the same. So let's try to change the value. To change the value of a variable, you just assign a new value to it. In your code, change the value of x to 10 and run the calculation again. What do you expect the results to be? So let's change x equal 10. You know, if you put x here, the answer should be 70. Okay, let's press enter. And let's write print y. Okay, oh, it's again 42. So we have to update the value. The value of y needs to be updated to get the correct result. Type these lines. Now the code assigned the new value to y and x has been changed. If you update the value of, of one variable, you in your own programs always check to see if you need to update any others. So the correct code should be like this. x equal 10 y equals x multiply 7 and now print y. Okay, now it's 70. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Try it at home and see you.